hey i think you can click away because this video gonna be educationally boring so yeah go <laughs> just go i warn you <laughs> I always wanted to share my study during my degree, uh, this one the thesis, the effect of organic and inorganic treatment of crown of thorn starfish, Akatensta Planki by Muhammad Arif Aikal bin Muhammad Hanafi. That's me. I think that this study should be further studied and advanced about it because it's a good research actually. Then, yeah, I feel regret about it because I'm not continue this study you know one kind of people that young researcher passion about his study but yeah because of he lack of opportunity he's not continue his study so i think that's me obviously in my case lack of funding code so that's why i cannot continue my study banyaknya study <laughs> So I hope this sharing could um, help other res help other res help other res help other res <coughs> <coughs> So I hope that this sharing of my FYP could help other researchers such as marine biologists, chemists to continue my study. Itu pun kalau ada orang tengok aku, macam tak ada orang tengok aje. <laughs> okay, let's start. Um, how to start ah? Okay, Akatesta planki or crown of thorn starfish is one of major threats in coral reef. Why this become a major threat? Because COT preying on coral. During the outbreak, COTs can kill up to 80% of coral reef in a large reef areas. And yeah, loss of coral, loss of fish stock and loss of seafood. Easy, simple as that. There's a lot of things that people do to overcome this outbreak. For example, hand collection and land burial means that we are collect on the outbreak site and bring it to the land and bury it in the land. Another method is chemical injection. Uh, we inject either organic and inorganic chemical into COTs and yeah, we monitor it to certain period of time. So that we know how much mortality of COT that injected by certain of chemical injection. And most of the time, people use inorganic chemical. So my studies, I propose to use organic chemical. Lemon juice. Yeah, it's uh, organic thing because it can be found everywhere in the world and it's cheap. That's why I propose it to use lemon juice. Lemon juice in this experiment mainly composed on citric acid. So therefore, the objective of my study is Wait ah, huh? <laughs> Mana lah Oh, for those who are not know In Malay, uh, Crown of Thorn Starfish, we call it Mahkota Berduri <laughs> The objective of this study is to examine the physiological response of COTs toward organic and inorganic chemical And to determine the mortality rate of COTs caused by organic and inorganic chemical So how do I do it? Ah, it's a good question. I ask myself and I answer it. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> because of this study is experimental study. For experimental, you need a control COTs. So there will be a four treatment: control, organic lemon juice, inorganic acid HCl, and inorganic chemical, which is NaCl. Okay, the reason why I use this chemical treatment for my experiment is I wanted to compare between inorganic acid and organic acid which is from lemon and I also wanted to observe and compare the physiological response between a non-acid and acid which is the non-acid here refer to NaCl and acid refer to HCl and lemon juice so with these four chemical treatment I need to collect each chemical treatment for five individual all COTs are collected on depth site of Karah Island and Teluk Belanga after I collected the COTs from the depth site I transfer it on my experimental site which in front of UMT research station beach the experiment was not begin yet because we need to acclimatize the COT for three days this will help COTs to become less stressed and make them fit for the experiment. So on the experimental day, I injected 10 ml of chemical treatment for one COT. The injection was performed on the upper side of COTs, means that on the upper top of COTs, no injection will be conducted under control. Okay, to answer my first objective, to examine the physiological response of COTs to organic and inorganic chemical, 
I will observe five different physiological response that I already sorted throughout my reading of literature review lah. The physiological response that I wanted to observe in this experiment, uh, the first, necrosis blister lesion or expose of organ, second mating and loss of spine, third loss sugar and swelling, mucus production, and lastly hyperactivity. These are the physiological response that I wanted to observe in my experiment. Then to answering my second objective which was to determine the motility rate of COTs caused by organic and inorganic chemical. For the first 24 hours of post-injection, 2 hours of interval observation was conducted from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Means that the first injection was conducted on 7 a.m. I already did my observation for that time. For the second observation was on 9 a.m. and so on until 7 p.m. Serious man, 2 hours interval, you have 2 hours of interval rest and next you need to dive again. It was so tiring day for one job. So think about it when you wanted to do this kind of research, experimental field base. Man, serious, you need to think truly. Don't do like me, okay? So for the next 24 hours, the time interval of observation was reduced to 4 hours. Means that on the second day, the first observation of course on 7 a.m. The next observation for the second day will be on 11 a.m. and so on. This experiment was conducted for 5 days. The experiment also was terminated with two conditions. The first condition was if within these 5 days, there were all 5 COTs are dead, then the chemical treatment will be terminated. Okay, for the second condition, even though the COTs are still live after 5 days, the experiment also will be terminated. And of course, throughout this uh, sample collection, experimental observation, all this was conducted using a scuba dive. If you don't know scuba is what, you can google it I guess. I don't have time to explain it because this video already long. <laughs> so, the result. As you can see, Here's the graph. Within 6 hours of experiment, HCL showed for 40% of mortality. And within 44 hours, 100% of mortality showed by HCL. All of 5 of them are dead. So for my proposed citric acid, the lemon juice, 60% of it are shown mortality within 44 hours. 44 hours. I mean 24 hours. <laughs> Sorry. So for daily observation, as you can see, NACL show 20% of mortality. Means that just one COT are dead. Yeah. No mortality was shown for control. Of course, no injection was conducted. Okay, for the first objective for my experiment to observe the physiological response. The most physiological response that I shown in this experiment was necrosis, blister, lesion or expose of organ and also loss of trigger and swelling in the COTs within 24 hours of observation okay for the 5 days of observation the most physiological response that shown necrosis, blister, lesion and also expose of organ as conclusion uh, the most effective chemical of course the HCL but we can consider citric acid as another alternative because it shows 60% of mortality within 24 hours of post injection and I would also suggest if someone out there that wanted to continue this study try to use different amount of dosage for this experiment 10 ml how about use it a different dosage of citric acid of 20 ml maybe citric acid of 30 ml 50 40 i don't know with this we know which chemical dosage is the best and effective way to control the outbreak using chemical injection so guys do comment and drop some question to me regarding this study I do need some participation from you guys so that I know that you understand what I'm talking about and it's not a wasting of time for you guys to watch it till the end. If you guys wanted to read more about this study, I made a poster about this study and put my academic profile so you guys can check out it, link in the description below. Actually the poster was made for an event, this one. The International Seminar on the Strait of Malacca and the South China Sea 
was set on 1st and 2nd November 2015 University Malaysia Terengganu Terengganu Malaysia Presenter, I'm one of the presenter, the poster presenter Hanafi because of my father's name Yeah. <laughs> so go check out the poster in the link description below So if you like this video, give a thumbs up And as always, be nice, be good